In this video, we are going to learn how to perform searching, sorting, and pagination in ASP.NET Core MVC application. If you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. And if you are new to this channel, then please hit that subscribe button. Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devani. So let's get started without any delay. So I have this existing project. I'm not going to create a new one and I will put down all the related code in the description box. So do not worry about that. So let's start with creating a new model. So we are going to add a new class. And let's name it employee. Okay, let's name it employee. And let's add some field to it. So first of all, we are going to add an ID field. So type PROP double tap, it will create an ID for you. And sorry, property for you. Second one will be email. And second one must be name then email. Okay. And add this question mark. So that we can make it nullable that's what it is asking to do us okay and that will be enough so let's create a controller i'm going to create an employee controller so let's add a controller and name it employee controller that's it and let's see let's create a method okay let's create a method add employees and we are going to seed some employee data first of all we need to add this line private read only database context and it is our db context class which i have created here so it is our db context class okay then i need to add that employee class as db set so that's it employee fine Then let's see, let's name it CTX, create a constructor, CTOR, double tap, and it will create a constructor for you. Copy this CTX here and CTX equals to CTX. Okay, that's fine. So let's run our migration command here okay package manager console and let's add add migration command let's run this command and name it okay what should i name Okay, adding employee. So our migration file has created, let's see. And so now run another command, update database and all the changes will be reflected to database after running this command okay so let's wait for a moment let's see yeah it is done now we have added this table into database so let's add some data for performing some operations so i am going to write here written content 
done and let's add some default data in these tables so i am doing some hard coding here employees equals to new employee okay let's add let's write here where employees i'm going to create a list for that so okay right here new employee id we do not need to insert id because those values are auto generated name equals to john and email equals to john at the rate xyz.com so second employee will be mary and it will be mary at the rate xyz.com and there will be max max at the rate gmail.com and another will be jack jack at the rate so let's add emp one two three four five it will be fifth record and let's add some random data emp five it will be emp six AMP7 AMP8 9 10 and 11 AMP11 AMP12 AMP13 AMP14 sorry mp8 it will be 9 it will be 10 11 mp6 7 8 9 10 11 okay and let's name is jacob so jacob at the red gmail.com okay now let's run this function ctx dot add range employees ctx dot save changes okay and put this thing inside a try block it will return done and catch block will return exception ex failed okay so let's run this method so just type here employee slash what should we write employee slash add employee i think that was the name of method okay add employees okay it is saying done and we have added employees so i'm going to close it now let's create another method here and it will write public ix and result employees 
so it will return a view fine and i'm going to add this method as a default method which is going to be run default so we'll open this program.cs and change this method and controller so our default route will be employee slash employees so it is going to be our default route okay so right here just find employee equals to first of all we are going to create a view model class for employee because we need some additional field in this class so we are not going to change our database class so right here we are going to add a new class and let's name it employee view model dot cs fine and let's paste all of these things here inside that we will implement some more properties later in the later part and let's close it for now so right here a link query where employees equals to from from emp in employees sorry not employees ctx dot employees dot okay let's see employees and select new employee id equals to it will be employee view model not employee and employee will be fine so id equals to emp dot id okay and name equals to emp dot name email equals to emp dot email okay and where view model equals to where okay emp data equals to new emp employee view model and let's open this employee view model let's add one property here which will be actually we do not need it like that we do not need it here we will add a simple list of employees so prop and right here i enumerable or i queryable employee employees so that's it so right here we will write emp data dot employees equals to employees and we will pass this emp data okay fine and let's see okay let's add view for this method so name it 
employees okay fine and let's use some design of the previous methods so i'm going to use this design and it will be simply this mvc tutorial model just employee view model okay and here we will write employees and just remove it okay name email fine and action that's it here we will write model dot email sorry model dot employees okay so it will be emp emp dot name emp dot email actually we are using a bootstrap design here if you don't know i am reminding you okay so how this is our design look like okay now let's run this code okay so it is how our employee list is looking now let's add a search functionality here so for that i am going to use bootstrap 5 and let's use some of its functionality so let's add a search bar here okay and we need to do two things here first of all we are going to add this search term equals to empty and it is an optional parameter so we do not need to define it always but if we are getting this term parameter then we will perform a search operation so where not where term equals to term dot to lower that's it so let's see the string dot is null or empty term then it will be blank otherwise term dot to lower fine and right here we will see a string dot is null or empty term then okay we do not need it here we should write where term equals to empty or emp dot name dot starts with term fine emp dot name dot to lower starts with term okay that's it okay let's add this search functionality here so what we are going to do we are going to add a search bar here and we will define it inside html dot begin form or we can use asp.net core kind of form so right here form asp action equals to 
employees now we will define uh, div dot row div plus equals to row div class equals to call md 8 and it will be call md 4 here we will define input asp action let name equals input name equals to term and form sorry class equals to form control place holder equals to search by name and add this button type equals to submit class equals to btn btn info search so let's run this project and see how is it going so let's add here john and search john here okay so let's add another string here search fine let's search here emp and yeah we are getting all the names with emp okay but if you search with five you won't get anything because we are searching it with it starts with so we have implemented our search functionality let's close this tab for now and let's work on sorting so what we need here first of all we need a parameter that will be called order by and it is a string parameter and it will be a optional string so we will assign blank string to it now we need actually we are going to sort it by email and name so i need to define two properties here so prop a string and let's name is email sort order and second one will be name sort order so that's it now let's see okay so here look carefully we will check that check that okay i will explain it first of all right here this right just here emp data dot name sort order and now we will check the condition if order by is null or empty so right here a string dot is null or empty order by if this order by is empty then we will use name descending otherwise it will be an empty string and emp dot email sort order equals to now we will check another condition here order by equals to email then we will reverse it and he write here email dsc otherwise email 
actually what we are doing it we are toggling we are toggling order cases okay so here now we will apply switch case so switch order by now case and case will be name descending d e s c okay here name d e s c it will be a one case so we will write here okay just move this line here and okay now employees equals to employees dot order by DSC and we will order it this we will order it in descending order with name right here break that's it and e m p l o y w d -E s okay fine so we will check another condition here that will be email d e s c i think yeah email d e s c and we will order it in descending by email okay right here one more case it will be order by email so if case is that email then right here email and remove this descending part and just leave order by email okay and we have a default case which will be order by name so employees equals to employees dot order by find a dot name that's it okay and of course a break fine so let's put this break next line okay so it is the controller part now we will move to the view part and yeah for that what we are going to do we are going to put it inside an action link so here write a href equals to name of controller and which is employee now name of method which is employees and that is order by so where is it yeah it is our query string so order by equals to at the rate model dot name name sort order and let's put that name inside that anchor tag we will do same here so just change it to email and it to email sort order okay and let's see let's run it let's see is it working fine or not so here now our records are sorted with name in ascending order you can see here emp 10 11 and here first of all records with e are coming then j then with m okay so let's click here and it should be reversed now yeah 
now we have ordered it with descending order by name so okay lo so let's check with email and let's see okay here now it is sorted with email in ascending order and now it is sorted with email in descending order so that was the sorting part which we have completed now so let's move to the pagination part and it might be little bit more complicated than other two topics okay we will do it so here first of all we are going to write some properties so first property will be page size the next one will be current page and another will be total pages that's it so let's move here so let's find total records actually we will find these total records here before any searching no 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 we are right here we are good here so okay so first of all we will find total records so where total records equals to employees dot count now where total pages equals to math dot ceiling total records divided by total pages so let's define here first we need to define a page size so int page size equals to suppose we want five records in our first in our page then we will divide it by page size so what this math dot ceiling function will do suppose we have 11 records and suppose we have 11 records and we want to display five records in each page so what if so what will be if we divide 11 by 5 then we will get 2 point something okay with 11 records we will get two pages but we need three pages okay so what this math dot ceiling will give us it will give us three so it will automatically round it to the three that's what we needed we needed three pages and five record in one page five record in second page and one record in third page that is how it will work with 11 records so that's why we are using math dot ceiling function i hope you understood it so okay fine and it will give us a result in the form of decimal it will give us in the form of decimal or double okay and we need to convert it so let's take here int and here also int we are going to be more specific here okay so fine actually 
actually we are not needing here any type conversion in the earlier version i always get error here right now i'm not getting any error and i do not need any type casting so let's see if we need it in future or not okay we are totally unaware of that right now we will declare an optional parameter here so it will be int current page equals to one okay now it is giving us error and that's what i was talking about so we need a type casting here first of all we will convert it into int and here we have to write double okay so now i hope it will be fine so here let's see now we will apply some pagination logic here so employees equals to employees dot skip page size sorry not page size current page minus one into page size and we will skip page size sorry not a skip we will take page size record so in first condition we will have current page equals to one then how so, sorry then how much it is going to skip so let's apply this formula here current page equals to one minus one which is equal to zero so it is going to skip zero records in the first step and take page size which is five five records so in the first attempt it will take five records by default and it will not skip any record but what if you pass here current page equals to two then it will skip it will skip current page which is 2 minus 1 into page size which is 5 equals to 5 records okay so in second attempt it will skip five records and it will always take five records so that is how the pagination will work okay so do not confuse here so let's move here to the view part and we need some bootstrap design for that so right here bootstrap 5 and we will search there okay let's find components okay where it is okay it is here pagination so let's copy this guy and let's see okay we are going to copy this guy it is looking much more better and let's paste it somewhere here let's see how it is looking okay let's close it for now and we are getting error here so let's see what it is saying the timeout okay there is not any error it is actually a little bit time consuming because my system is running very slow right now so that's why it is giving an error 
so I am just going to rerun it I hope everything will be fine right now okay now as you can see we are getting only this five records so everything is working fine right now okay now we have to move this data to the view so here right here emp dot sorry emp data dot current page equals to current page and emp data dot total pages equals to total pages and emp data dot what has remained page size equals to int sorry page size so okay let's move here and just click here not here just remove these two links and here we will write at the rate for each or four sorry we need a four in i equals to zero i is less than model dot total pages i plus plus or we can do it with one and we will write here equals to okay it is looking fine right now so just close it here and we will write here at the red i okay and we will write a condition if i equals to current page sorry model dot current page capital mod model dot current page then it is our active link otherwise it is not our active link So just add here active I hope it is a valid class for bootstrap and here what we will write we will write something like employee dash employees comma term equals to model dot term what is it model dot okay we need another property here which will be model dot term string term and we will pass this term here so right here just model dot term equals to term that's it now we can find this term here and model dot order by actually we need another thing here which will be model dot order by mp data dot order by and it will be 
order by so let's define it here here and order by what was that actually let's see yeah order by order by equals to model model dot order by and model sorry what is the last parameter current page so here current page equals to model dot model dot current page okay let's copy it here and paste it here i think there is missing something missing there might be some mistake so let's find okay we need this guy here and this guy here okay we are fine now and let's remove this active part from here and let's see what we okay right here a condition for previous page if model dot current page is greater than one then we will show this link and just copy this anchor tag here and paste it here Okay, we will just copy this href part. So from here to here. Paste it here. And we are definitely going to paste it here also. And here will be another condition. And if model dot current page is less than total pages model dot total pages and we will pass actually we will pass that current page equals to i from here and i plus one from here or we will say model dot current page plus one from here and model dot current page minus one from here so it is the previous page it is the next page so that's how it is going to work let's see how is it working i don't know it is if it is 
all right or not so we will just check it so okay right now we are in first page so let's move to the second page now this previous button has appeared here now it is removed so here we have second page now we have third page okay emp 10 11 5 6 7 good emp 8 9 let's see yeah emp 8 is not here emp 8 9 jack jacob john and mary max here so i guess we had 12 records there so right now we have applied this searching and sorting here so yes everything is working fine okay guys that's it for today if you find this video helpful then please hit that like button and please make sure to subscribe this channel and we will catch up later